So in the last several videos, we've created a database, we've added a table, we've added columns to our table, and we've inserted data into our columns, creating rows. Now, there may come a time that you need to add an extra column. Perhaps something unforeseen came up and your boss wants you to add a new column to your table. And we can accomplish that with the alter table command. So you can see we use the keywords alter and table, and then we just specify the table that we want to update. In this case, it's user data. And then we have to use the add keyword. And then we specify the new column that we want to create. And in this case, we're gonna add an email column. And you'll remember that we use this data type, the variable character data type, for our column. And that won't change here. And we set this to not null. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this in here. And we'll paste it. Let's go ahead and execute it. And there you can see we got our favorite message, query OK. Now, it's always a good idea to go ahead and make sure that the column was, in fact, added. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just use that describe command we've been using. And there you can see our new column is, in fact, there. Now, what if you want to go ahead and remove that column? What if you changed your mind? Well, everything's pretty much the same. We use the alter table command. We have to specify the table. And instead of using the add keyword, we use the drop keyword. And I think that speaks for itself. It, it will remove the column that you want to remove. In this case, it's going to be email, the one we just added. So let's go ahead and execute that. And you can see we got query OK. And let's just go ahead and make sure that, in fact, was removed. And it was. Now, let's go ahead and add it back really quick because we're going to insert some data into our new column. And of course, we're going to use the insert command again. And we talked about this in the last lecture, the insert into command. And of course, we have to specify our table. And here is our new column that we've added. And in this case, we're going to add the email address right here in this position, test at test.com. Really original, I know. Well, not very original. Anyways, let's go ahead and make sure that we can insert data into our new column. And let's hit enter. And there you can see we got our favorite message, query, OK. Now, let's go ahead and use the select command. And you will remember that will retrieve the rows. And we're just going to make sure the data, in fact, was inserted. And of course, we need our table. Let's hit Enter. And look at that. There we go. We've got our new column. And we've got the email address that we just inserted into this new row. Now, you might be wondering, how do I update rows? If we can update a column, how do we update rows? And we'll talk about that in the next lecture. See you guys then.